Hello everyone, I'm Raven Queen, daughter of the Evil Queen. I don't consider myself evil, but I still love the dark look. If you want to achieve this beautiful bewitching style, then keep watching. Start with a clean face, clean hands, and some primer. I'm using NYX's Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator because I favor a luminous look. Once you're all primed up, it's time for foundation. I'm using NYX's HD Studio. As long as they're clean, it's okay to apply foundation with your hands. Next, I'm applying NYX's HD Concealer under my eyes in problem areas. Now, just use a wet sponge to make sure it all blends in. I'm not close to finish, but here I'm using NYX's HD Finishing Powder to ensure the primer, foundation, and concealer are all set. I like to apply blush next. Today I'm using NYX's Full On Femme. I'm applying this color to my cheekbones, but I want to give it a purple tint. So I'm using a small brush to apply NYX's Harley Quinn eyeshadow slightly lower than where I applied the blush. This also helps contour my face and gives the illusion of higher cheekbones. Time for the eyes. I'm using NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil called Cottage Cheese and just using my finger to blend it all in. Now it's time for my favorite shadow palette ever, NYX's Love in Paris Be Our Guest Maurice. Using a large shadow brush, I apply the white all over the lid up to the brow. Now I'm using NYX's Violet Retractable Eyeliner on the crease of my lids and blending while I go. Next, I use NYX's Vibrant Amethyst Glam Shadow Stick for my cat eye look. Use the corner of your eye and the end of your eyebrow to make sure that both cat eyes line up exactly, or at least close to it. I'm going back to my palette to add a little bit of powder to all the dark parts. Now just add some gray above the crease for some transition color. Before you move on, it's good to clean everything up. I'm using Max Fix Plus. Then I go over everything just a little bit again. The Fix Plus will bring out the pigment and ensure that the shadow sets in. Okay, eyeliner time. Using the makeup I already have on my eyes as a guide, I'm applying Max Fluid Line. Of course, you do not want the wing to go up too high. About a quarter of the way of the purple should do just fine. When you're done with the top, apply the liner to the bottom, however you feel most comfortable with. I like to apply my liner right at the waterline, but underneath is okay too. After just a few touch-ups, all we have left is the lashes. Now it's time to get a little creative for my eyebrows. In order to match my hair color, I'm using NYX's High Voltage Lipstick, Dahlia. Remember to use your pupil as a guide of where the point should be. I'm really bad at applying false lashes, so I've applied them off screen. I prefer to use an eyelash curler before mascara to prevent clumping and ripping out any false or real eyelashes. My final step for my eyes is blending my false and real lashes with my normal mascara. All I need to do now is grab that same high voltage lipstick that I use for my eyebrows and apply it to my lips. 
Oh, and since I'm actually finished now, I guess I'll throw on some more finishing powder. And here we go. Now I'm a beautiful, not so evil queen. Hi everyone, I'm Snow White's daughter, Apple White, from Ever After High. I'm going on a date with Miss Charming tonight. If you want to achieve this gorgeous look, then keep on watching. First, you want to start off with a clean face. I've already filled in my eyebrows using the NYX brow pencil and taupe. Here I'm applying scotch tape to make my eyeshadow really crisp. Now I'm using the Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk to give my eyeshadow a white base. Now I'm using a white shadow to set the base. Now I'm using a soft brown color for the transition shade. I sprayed some water on my brush to make the eyeshadow pop. Now I'm using a gray color for the crease. And I keep on building it up and blending it out. Building it up and blending it out. You might want to use some extra time so you can really blend it out. I'm just using some liquid eyeliner to give myself the wing. Now I'm using a Calvin Klein mascara and giving it a really good coat. I'm using the HD foundation in porcelain. Then you want to blend it all in with a wet sponge. Now I'm just using a tan concealer for the cream contour. Then before moving on, I like to just blend that in first. Now I'm just setting the cream contour with a bronzer. Now I'm just using a concealer to highlight the high points of my face. More and more blending. Now I'm going to set everything with a setting powder. Now I just sprayed some water just to make my blush a little bit more pigmented. Just a little glitter at the high points of my cheeks. I had to do my eyelashes off camera. Now I'm just using a white eyeliner just to make my eyes pop on my waterline. Now I'm just using a black eyeliner. Now I'm going back in with the gray eyeshadow to blend it all in. Don't forget the bottom lashes. Now I'm using a NYX lip liner to line my lips. Now I'm using a NYX classic red lipstick. That's it for me. Time for my date. Bye!